I ended up growing up with the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy, the PSP, the PS Vita, and all of that kind of stuff. So NVIDIA and MediaTek working on PC and gaming handhelds actually has me a little bit excited. Now, NVIDIA, I know, it's probably gonna be really pricey because everything else that NVIDIA is releasing is extremely expensive. But this right here, I promise, I'm not gonna get off topic. This is intentional for a reason. The new AMD Ryzen 7 8700F starting at $269, and then the Ryzen 5 8400F starting at $169. Let's all hope MSRP actually means something for these processors. It would be really nice for those prices to be accurate. So as you can see right here, you can kind of get an idea of what, uh, oh, it's gonna let me click on them, nice. All right, so you can kind of see, really? So this right here is the 87, let me disable my webcam really quick. And then this right here is the 8400F. You can see everything that we got going on. I'm just gonna be real with you. That text right there kind of looks like AI. Do we have like AI prompts now to make charts for us? Please tell me that you're not thinking the exact same thing. That looks like AI writing coming from somebody that literally uses AI nonstop. You see right there, it's not, it's not a, that's AI language. How many of you can read that? But anyways, let's get back. Whoa there, buddy. Let's get back to this before I get too far off topic. The reason I, oh my God. The reason I wanted to, <laughs> the reason, <laughs> the reason I wanted to share this is because I don't think that NVIDIA is actually going to be able to overprice their whatever handheld graphics card when they're because you know just as well as I know, they're going to end up releasing the handheld. Let's quickly read the article before I get too far off topic. It says, not just Nintendo, other companies are interested in using NVIDIA GPUs for the gaming handhelds. The company is allegedly working with MediaTek for several projects, the official one being the automobile infotainment systems. And then there's already a discussion about a potential collaboration in the personal compute computer space and even gaming systems. The rumor ended up coming from analysis Dan, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that, who claims that by the third quarter, NVIDIA and MediaTek will have an ARM-based AI processor for PCs. This chip is said to be around $300, so given what we already have on the market, it is relatively expensive. I completely disagree with that. The collaboration is said to involve TSMC, which would manufacture the chip using three nanometer node and that would happen in the first half of 2025 it is said while the actual product is not expected until 2025 mediatek and nvidia would reveal their plans already next month at computex now i do want to say something really quickly the reason that i said that the the, the ARM-based AI processor, this chip is said to cost around $300. So given what we already have on the market, it is relatively expensive. The reason that I said I disagree with that is because, okay, I'm, I'm gonna put my hands up to, to limit my explanation here so I don't get too far off topic. So the reason that this is such a big problem or that I don't think that this is a, a big problem is because artificial intelligence is smarter than anything that has better hardware, okay? If artificial intelligence can take a potato RTX 4010, let's say if that existed, and make it better like a 4090, just because the 4010 is potato spec, the AI is still making it perform really well. It's like DLSS. Yes, it's not perfect 4K, dude. But it's like, if we can get a potato 4010 to compete with a 4090 just because AI is inside of the 4010, who cares? You know what I mean? So that's all I wanted to say. You guys get an idea. I probably did a terrible explanation there, but I promise if I didn't do a terrible explanation, I would have been going on for another 20 minutes. So yeah. And MediaTek is also working on gaming handheld SOC with NVIDIA GPU as Jensen is frustrated by Nintendo and he sees a good market potential. Ah, Nintendo, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Even Jensen doesn't like you. You suck, Nintendo. And <laughs> demonetize all my videos, screw you. The, inform <laughs> the information is further expanded as Leaker XP a GPU claims that NVIDIA is looking into working with MediaTek for a gaming handheld SoC. The company is already supplying its Tegra chips for Nintendo, but this company is relatively slow to adopt the release their products to the market. The 
Ampere, no, 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 being an iron based chip does not necessarily mean it would not be suitable for a Windows handheld. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X series has already made the necessary optimizations for the operating system and reportedly DirectX slash Vulkan games run effortlessly on that chip. Furthermore, Nvidia already has comprehensive driver coverage for its GPUs for Windows and Linux. Now, I grew up with the Game Boy Advance. I grew up with the Game Boy, the PSP, the PS Vita. So, dude, and the re honestly, the Game Boy Advance is my per let me know what your favorite handheld is. And the reason the Game Boy Advance is my personal favorite handheld, dude, is because when when I was a kid, dude, I like I was watching Ninja Turtles, Spider Man, Ed, Ed and Eddie, SpongeBob SquarePants. Rugrats, Cat Dog, Rocco's Modern Life, Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Laboratory. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I really want to think of the name of it. And it's really aggravating me because it was actually a really good cartoon. And now I'm stupid. Well, I'm gonna I'll think about it in in whatever. A little bit. <laughs> and the reason that the Game Boy Advance was my favorite, dude, is because it was like no matter what it was was it was it a movie was it a cartoon was it a tv show like everything that had a movie tv show cartoon whatever it's like it was guaranteed to get some sort of game boy advance port yeah it was probably not the best you know what i mean but at least for me dude it was cool to be able to <laughs> i think you guys understand if anybody ever grew up with the game boy advance you know exactly what i'm talking about and like having that all right, so let's get back. So AMD launching their 8700F and the really 8400F. I don't think that Nvidia is going to be able to mark their whatever their mobile graphics card up through the roof like they're going to do with the with the 50 series. And it is a little bit concerning because it feels like Nvidia is becoming. I don't even want to say Apple because it's not even on the level of Apple. It's like Google. It's like Google, Amazon, Windows, Microsoft. It's like these like super monopolistic, if that's even a word, like the monopolies that we got going on here. And be like, they're already shutting AMD down. At least from what we're seeing, AMD is not going to be releasing any high-end graphics cards for the, whatever, for their, uh, their their next gpu lineup and if you take a look at all of this stuff i'm not gonna talk about all of this but I, I do have this open for a reason please continue to go down thank you now you guys can see everything so because dude if in be, like they're already shutting amd down with like with with the higher end graphics cards and it's i don't know how much the 40, 50 90 is going to be okay i really don't understand i don't know what it, it's going to be but it from what we're seeing in the leaks and all this stuff nvidia is not going to be changing anything regarding the 40 series graphics cards the prices are going to stay the exact same just because the 50 series is coming out does not mean the 40 series is going down from what we're seeing all nvidia is going to be doing is they're going to be increasing the price of the 50 series graphics cards so it literally feels like Nvidia is now the Lamborghini of graphics cards. And if you have a 5090, you're now going to be like, everybody is going to want to be you. They're going to look up to you. You're just going to be this super special human because you got a 4,000 graphic card or a $4,000 graphics card sitting inside of your computer. And I don't know how much they're going to be, dude. I really don't know how much the 5090 and the 5080 are going to be, but I'm just going to take a wild guess and throw a number out there that the msrp okay i'm not saying what it's actually going to be but the msrp i'm going to take a wild guess that the 5090 is probably going to be like 200 or yeah can you imagine how epic that would be 2250 bucks that's what i'm going to take a guess or 21.99 or something it could possibly be 24.99 that's another one but i'm actually i'm trying to not like over exaggerate my perspective on nvidia because yes i'm fully aware that there's going to be a lot of people that are like, oh it's going to be three grand no it's going to be four grand like i'm actually trying to take a good guess like a, a guess that would actually happen and i do think that it's going to be at that 22.5 oh why i said it that way i don't know but i do think it's going to be in that range i don't think 
And anyway, I'm gonna, I'm getting too far off topic here. So the reason that I wanted to cover all of this stuff, one is because that's pretty cool that AMD is was able to release something like that, that performs this well. Like if we zoom in here, and you you can kind of see this AI artificial whatever chart that they ended up prompting that doesn't know how to freaking read letters. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. They didn't pro look at it. Tell me I'm wrong. Does that not, we could what is this is AI language. This is like some sort of freaking arc, whatever the Aztec that looks like Aztec language. Oh my God. Conspiracy theory inbound. The Aztecs are coming back to life through artificial intelligence. I think it's time to end the video. What do you guys think about this? What's your favorite handout? Peace. <laughs> You guys know I'm right. It's probably some Aztec artificial intelligence. <laughs>